Hello everyone and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS Tech Tip from Hawkridge Systems. This is Jacob Ames, Senior Applications Engineer, and in this video we'll be covering a handful of new annotation capabilities for SOLIDWORKS drawings introduced in 2022. First and foremost, a new limited version of detailing mode is now available for all drawings with the exception of detached drawings, regardless of the SOLIDWORKS version they were saved in, whether they were saved in detailing mode or not, and even if they were saved without model data. Limited detailing mode replaces Quick View, which is no longer available as of 2022. Here I have a drawing which was last saved in SOLIDWORKS 2018. As you can see, detailing mode is available in the open menu, and upon opening, a banner appears indicating that it's been opened in limited detailing mode. Viewing the limitations shows that essentially all commands other than viewing, printing, and exporting are unavailable until the drawing is resolved. Limited detailing mode is essentially identical to the old quick view in this way, and is automatically used for older version drawings and drawings without model data. It's not a mode that can be activated manually. The true fully featured detailing mode has seen some enhancements for SOLIDWORKS 2022 as well, but requires some specific document properties to be set before use. Starting in Service Pack 4 of SOLIDWORKS 2020, users are able to control whether SOLIDWORKS saves the model data required for the use of the full detailing mode when saving a drawing. Access Options, then Document Properties. Click the Performance category at the bottom of the list, and two options will be available. Save model data must be enabled when saving a drawing in order to avoid the limitations of limited detailing mode, even in SOLIDWORKS 2022. Additionally, SOLIDWORKS 2022 introduces the ability to create standard drawing views directly from the view palette in detailing mode, but the option Include Standard Views in View Palette must be enabled to do so. Note that these options may increase document save time, especially for larger drawings, but they're required in order to take full advantage of the full capability of detailing mode, which significantly reduces opening and loading times. Additionally, these options can only be adjusted while a drawing is resolved, and the document must be saved and reopened in detailing mode for the settings to take effect if changed. You might consider creating or modifying a template to include these options if you intend to use them frequently. All right, let's give it a try. I've reopened my drawing into detailing mode after saving it with our two performance options enabled. Now, accessing the view palette, I'm able to create standard orientation views such as top and right by simply dragging and dropping, bringing even more impressive capability to detailing mode. Not only that, but whole tables are now supported in detailing mode as well, along with all the other annotation types that have always been available. Simply create a whole table as you normally would in a resolve drawing. So long as the drawing has been saved with model data, everything should behave just as expected, only now you're not waiting an eternity for your drawings to load. All right, now that you've seen all the improvements to detailing mode for SOLIDWORKS 2022, let's talk about a couple new annotation specific enhancements. The first is a brand new dimension type, which is sure to make some machinists and manufacturers happy, the symmetric linear diameter dimension. You'll find the symmetric linear diameter dimension underneath the standard smart dimension tool, and starting it up presents two options. Single mode allows you to create one dimension at a time by selecting either a single cylindrical silhouette edge or a combination of a reference or center line and a vertex or non-cylindrical edge. Multiple mode allows for the designation of a common reference axis, and then the rapid selection of subsequent vertices and edges, each of which will be based on the reference axis for even faster creation of these dimensions. The symmetric linear diameter dimension functions similarly to a regular diameter dimension, with the primary difference being that this new dimension type only shows half of the leader that would normally appear for a diameter dimension. This is especially helpful for turned parts where a full leader is unnecessary, and it can go a long way toward cleaning up drawing sheets and providing more space for other annotations and drawing views. Finally, for those of you taking advantage of geometric dimensioning and tolerancing in SOLIDWORKS, otherwise known as GD&T, you'll be excited to learn that the user interface for creating GD&T control frames has received a facelift this year and is now significantly more organized and easier to work with. When placing a geometric tolerance, a simple dialog now appears allowing you to select your tolerance type. Once selected, remaining tolerance parameters are organized into categories in a small manageable window containing value input boxes and symbols corresponding to the parameter category you currently have selected. 
The Add Datum button can then be used to add the required datum information, and clicking Done will complete the frame. If needed, the plus icons along the edges of the frame can be used to create additional frames, indicators, or symbols as needed, and simply hovering over a frame while the tolerance is active will display a red X that can be used to delete the frame. All the same great capabilities you're already familiar with are still here, they've simply been streamlined and reformatted to make working with GDNT significantly easier and more intuitive compared to the old 2021 interface. With all the new enhancements for drawings in SOLIDWORKS 2022, creating design and manufacturing documentation has never been easier. Remember, this video only covered the improvements to drawing annotations this year. Make sure to check out the videos linked in the description below covering drawing views and bill of material creation, both of which have been updated for 2022 as well. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We've got hundreds of other SOLIDWORKS tips and tricks for you to have a look through, with new videos released each and every week. Until next time, thanks for watching.